Hey guys, in this video I want to show you the best tips and tricks for the HTC One and Nine. I have 20 plus tips and tricks for you. So starting off from the tip number one, which is how to take this screenshot. That's very simple uh, to do actually. So if you press the power and volume down key at the same time like this, <clears throat> as you can see here, it takes the, the screenshot. So that's pretty easy. And uh, let's move towards the next tip, which is uh, you can actually hide the applications you want to like for example if you want to hide your facebook messenger or or your twitter application you can click here and you can see here on the second tab we have hide slash unhide apps so if you click here and if you see here like if i want to hide benchmark application i can just click done and now you are not going to see the benchmark application here so that is pretty nice and then of course you can unhide the application and now it will reappear so that's pretty awesome uh, that we get default with the HTC's um, UI here so uh, the next tip for you guys is you can actually hide this navigation bar um, that is pretty awesome that they have included this feature for example if you're playing games like GTA uh, this this uh, on-screen buttons are there so you can actually hide them for example if you go into the settings then personalize we have this option called as show button to hide navigation bar if you click on it now we get this uh, little arrow when you press it it's gonna hide the uh, on-screen on button now you have full screen full view if you swipe up you get this uh, again so that is pretty awesome uh, moving towards the next tip, which is related to the accent colors. Now, uh, as you can see here, uh, with this theme now, I have this black color everywhere. You can see black or grayish tabs there. You can actually change them if you go into uh, the settings. And then if we go into personalize, and then we have this option called as change accent colors. Now, I'm using this theme called as Merry Christmas and all that. I'll make a separate video uh, talking about uh, top five best teams for your HTC One and Nine. Uh, so I'm just gonna choose. Let's see here, Inner Space. Now what happened is that if I go back into the app drawer, you can see now I have this greenish uh, background. So really, really nice. Makes your phone uh, look a little bit different. Uh, so that is really nice feature. A nice feature that we get. Uh, then uh, another uh, another feature another tip for you is related to the fingerprint sensor now uh, I made a separate video uh, showing you how to set up the fingerprint sensor but if you haven't watched that I make I will tell you again so if you go into fingerprint scanner you can add fingerprints here uh, up to five if you click here it, uh, it will going to ask you to put your finger like this so but first you need to put like a pattern or password so you can do that so i'm just going to quickly cancel it because i already showed you how to do it but uh, but just it's it's just uh, this um this is the 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 tab here where you get these settings uh going into settings then fingerprint scanner settings so also we have this uh, feature tab where you have wake up screen and home button you can use this fingerprint sensor to wake up the screen and you can also use it as a home button so to return to the screen so it's not clickable but it's a sensor that can be used for different purposes so uh let's see here the next tip we have is related to the motion gestures yeah motion gestures now Let's see here, where can we find motion gestures? Now going into settings, uh, we have display and gesture option. Scrolling down, we have these two options. Now these are two different tips here. First of all, we have media gesture, which is if you are anywhere on, the, on your phone, on your home screen here, if you swipe with three fingers like this, uh, it's, uh, it's gonna quickly open up HTC Connect, so that is really nice. Then also, we have a little bit more options related to motion launch gesture. Now, these options, we have five options. For example, first one is to double tap to wake the screen. That is really nice. The next is swipe to unlock. Now, you can also see a real-time tutorial there if you don't know how everything works. So, if you just swipe like this, it's going to unlock your phone okay straight and then if your phone is blocked if you swipe to the left 
it's going to unlock and uh, uh, make your phone go into home screen. So let's see if I'm in the settings. If I lock my phone, swipe to the left, and I'm going to start off with the home screen. So that's nice. Similarly, if I'm on the home screen or anywhere, if I swipe to the right, it's going to open up the HTC Blink feed. So really, really nice, awesome gestures we have. Uh, we also get a little bit more, uh, one more, the fifth one. Let's see here. If we go again to motion launch gesture number fifth, which is uh, when the screen is off, you can pick the phone in landscape orientation, then press the, the volume up button to launch the camera app. Now, this is really helpful for those people who take a lot of selfies. So let's say <clears throat> if you are with a celebrity, let's say if you see me um, and you you just run towards me and say, I want to take a selfie with you. So what you have to do is that uh, you don't have to unlock your HTC phone. All you need to do is you need to reach out to your phone like this in landscape mode and press the volume button like this. Okay, let's see. I mean, sometimes it don't work, sometimes it works. Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay, I mean, uh, at first when I tried out, it worked. Uh, yeah, now it's working and you actually have to pick up the phone like this. It's not gonna work if you're just, you know, using it, it try to put the phone like this. So you need to uh, pick it up like this in landscape orientation in order to make it work. And of course, if you have selected the front camera first, uh, then yeah, you will see the front camera open up not the back camera so you can easily take a selfie with me so yeah that's a good tip for HTC One A9 users uh, let's move forward towards the next tip which is related to the gloves mode or you can say better uh, or stronger interaction with your device now if you live in Russia or or even Pakistan you know it's winter and it's really really cold so you can actually use the um, your gloves to interact with your phone I mean you can use gloves uh, so first of all what you need to do is you need to go into display and you need to turn on this option called as gloves mode now you can use your phone with your gloves on no need to uh, take them off. So yeah, that's that's good. Uh, the next tip for you guys is uh, changing the um, launcher. Now you have the option to change the um, home launcher. Uh, let's see here. If we go into personalize, now you can see change home screen launcher. You can change it from sense home to easy mode for those people uh, who are trying out Android for the first time or maybe HTC for the first time. They can have this mode, uh, which will basically give uh, a really easy type of UI. So yeah, that's that. But I am a pro Android user. I'm using it for about a lot of time since the Galaxy S2 or one days. So I don't have any problem. Uh, so yeah, for this is uh, convenient for those people who don't know uh, how it works. So yeah, uh, the next thing is that you can actually change the font style. You can see I have a little bit different font style, which is of course due to the theme. But you can change it manually if you go to personalize. Uh, if you go into the, let's see here. If you scroll down, you have this option called as font style. I'm using this Christmas font style, so I can just have it on default, or I can have it on this Zen Gothic whatever. So if we go back, everything will be applied. So it looks a little bit more better now. So uh, yeah, that's that. Let's move towards the next thing, which is related to the. Uh, color profile yeah you could change color profile let's see i mean I, I i don't remember what it was so let's go here uh, to personalize uh let's see here change color profile change your edit theme keyboard color dialog color i can't see that option i mean uh change color profile change wallpaper apps and widgets dot view oh yeah 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 it was related to dot view uh, it's actually if you are using a dot view case you can actually um, use some live themes uh, some Christmas themes some other themes that will make your phone like really really nice I don't have dot view case so uh, I will going to get it in the future so I think it's really cool to have it so yeah that's that uh, let's move towards the next thing which is the Google now on tap 
yeah, I think that's what they, they are calling it. So uh, with the Android 6.0 Marshmallow, you get this Google Now on tab, for example, if you are uh, if you hold down the uh, the the, uh, the center of your uh, navigation bar, you will get Google now on tap, which basically uh, takes a screenshot of what is happening on the you know on the display and selects some keyword. Like for example, if you are writing like I want to go uh, to McDonald's and uh, you press this, it's gonna take uh, the McDonald's as a as a screen uh, as a as a keyword, and then it will show you the, the all the things about McDonald's like their uh, like their Wikipedia and all those stuff. You can also do. Let's see here. Let's do a quick little test. If I go into the messaging application, let's see if we type. If I want to send a text to Eminem, let's see here. Eminem, and if I try Google now on tap. You can see here now it shows me the information about Eminem, it's Google, his Google uh, information, his Twitter, his YouTube account, his Instagram, you know, his, his website, his news, images, songs, codes, even codes. So it's really nice uh, to have this Google Now tab, which you will get if you will have Marshmallow on your phone. So yeah, that's that. And let's move towards the next tip, which is related to those people who are uh, who are planning to root your phone, I mean, who are planning to root their phone. So uh, so for that, you need to go into About Device. You need to go here into the software information. Then you need to click it on the more. Then it says build number. Now you, do, you need to tap on the build number a couple of times until it says, it says you, now, you are now a developer. Go back and now you will see developer options unlocked. Now the next tip for you guys is you need to go here into developer options and uh, select this, uh, allow OEM unlocking, which means that you can unlock your phone. First of all, you have to uh, enable USB debugging. Then you need to unlock the OEM unlocking, which means that you can unlock the bootloader of your phone uh, for in order to root it or you know installing custom ROMs and all that. So I think currently there's no ROM available for HTC One and Nine, but it's it's looking promise promising. Maybe we'll have Cyanogen mod for it. You know I would love to try it out on my HTC One and Nine. So let's just move towards the next tip, which is related to the host, uh, related to those people who want to install cracked apps. Now you can install the cracked apps. But first of all, you need to go into security and enable this option called as unknown sources. This will allow the installation of apps from unknown sources other than the Play Store. So yeah, the, your phone will not going to block the installation process if you have this ticked. So yeah, next off we have the magnifying gesture which we get in accessibility. This is really good for those people who have uh, the problem with uh, the, uh, the, the, the text. For example, if you're reading something on a website or a book on your phone, you can triple tap, it's gonna zoom in, and then you can use your three fingers to drag. So that is really nice. You get everything, uh, you get everything so cleared up. So that is really nice. It works everywhere. So yeah, uh, let's move towards the next tip, which is the, uh, let's see, if you can uh, go here and if you hold down any icon, you can basically put it on the home screen and you can even uninstall the application, but of course, as long as it is not the system application. So, uh, I mean, if it's a system application, you can't really uninstall it, but let's see here, if, if some application disturbs you, like, uh, like let's see, Subway Surfer, you can easily uh, click on it, drag it, and you can uninstall it, so that is really convenient. You don't have to uh, go into main settings to uninstall this application. So. And the next tip is related to the power saving mode. Now, if you go into the main settings, uh, if you go into the power option, you have a dedicated power saving mode which you can turn on, which actually uh, makes the display a little bit, uh, little, little bit uh, darker, and then it uh, actually downclocks the processor speed, so you can get more battery life out of your phone. That is really nice. Uh, but of course, if you want the best performance in benchmarks and gaming, I suggest that you should turn this off. Then also we have extreme power saving mode, which is really, really nice, which gives us some really uh, nice, uh, you know, time out of our phones. For example, you can select a separate, a separate battery percentage where you can turn the uh, battery saver on automatically. But if you can actually turn it on, at any percentage you want. For example, if I'm just gonna press the on button, 
it's gonna say something which I'm not gonna read. It says turning on extreme power saving mode. Now, in extreme power saving mode, you can see I still have my Wi Fi connection, but uh, that's only for the mail. I can't use Facebook or anything like that. I don't even have music, so yeah, do keep that in mind. That is really uh, restrictive. So you can also see the app battery usage, and then you can also exit it uh, without any problem. Uh, let's see here. It takes a little bit of time to exit. Uh, so that is really nice if you are stuck somewhere where you can't really charge your phone so you can use this mode to increase the battery life of your device. Uh, let's see uh, what else we have. We have another tip related to the apps. You can actually see which app is taking how much memory usage. If you go into settings then you can scroll down to the place where it's saying apps and let's see here if you want to see how much Google Chrome is taking my memory. If I click on Google Chrome it says 20 MB average memory used in last three hours. So you can uh, see uh, the, the memory usage. You can also see uh, the defaults of uh, the, the this thing here if you have any defaults. So you can see also that. Uh, let's move towards the next step, which is uh, configuring the application. Now, you, if I go back to the settings in the app section, oops, let's see here. If we go back into settings, if we scroll down and go into the app section, you can see here, if I click on this button, it says configure apps. Now, I can configure my default apps. I can also modify some system settings, battery optimization, and system settings. We have calendar, camera. You can just uh, turn it uh, from yes to no, so that camera can't really access. You know, some you know camera cannot be accessed. You can also uh, change the app permissions, like you can stop uh, the, uh, let's see here, you can stop the Facebook or Instagram to, you know, uh, stop them to access your camera. Like I've stopped Google Play services. So yeah, that is really nice. You have all the app permissions there. You can also do a ton of other stuff there uh, in configure applications. Uh, the next tip for you guys is uh, clearing up the cache memory. Now, if you go into storage and USB, if you scroll here, we have the cache data option. If you click on it, it's going to say this will clear the cache data for all apps. This is really nice because whenever you clear the cache data, it's going to make your phone's performance a little bit more better. That is really nice. Uh, so uh, the next tip for you guys is uh, basically my personal uh, uh, my personal tip for you guys in order to increase the battery life. So if you go here into the settings, and then if you go into the sound and notification, so in the uh, if we if we disable all these options, all these system-based options like keypad tools, touch styles, free lock, it'll go, it will going to make a lot of difference. You will get a lot more battery life out of your phone. So yeah, it's my personal tip. And the last tip for you guys is the uh, notification. So you can always uh, select this. And this will going to flash the notification, I mean notification light, whenever you have notifications. So if you don't like it, you can also uh, select it to uh, disable it all, all together. Like for example, if I go into app light notification, I can just untick them. So it's not going to bother me with the with the beep of the light. You know, not, not the beep, it's actually just the light blinking. So yeah, that's just 20 plus best tips and tricks for the HTC One and I. If you guys enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and also uh, comment below if you guys have some, some suggestions, some tips that you know that I don't know. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.